Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, Learning Revit. So we want to take a look at creating project template. So every organization have their own specific template and you don't have to reinvent the wheel all the time and you know start from the scratch. What we do, we create the whole template and you can apply the template to every single project that you create in Ravetso. So you can share it with the others or you can import the template from um, other people in your organization and you can use it. So this is going to be a short video, but I wanted to share this with you because I'm pretty sure you guys are going to use it on your project and you see how you can create a template, how you share it with your team members. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let's jump into Ravetso. In today's episode, learning Ravetso, I want to show you how you can create a project or a project template. So when you open up an actual Ravetso, there is going to be um, a project kind of button right here on top. You can click on this one. It's basically as asking you want to open whatever existing you created or you want to create a new one. So let's for now create a new one. And as soon as you click on that, you see the new box is going to be open and then you see the new project. So I'm going to kind of type, for example, the uh, just let's call it test project for now. And then you can publish it to, if you have a shared location, you can select it. If you want to do it to the cloud, which that's what you want to do. And when you select none right here, because if you see this license, my license doesn't let me to create uh, models on account. But if you have the type license, you'll be able to create it on cloud. So for basically web-based um, uh, model coordination and if there's going to be a specific shared location you can do it but if he says none it basically create that project on your local drive like on your actual computer is going to create that model for you so when you've done that you can also click on import settings so you can basically bring all the settings from a previous project so if you're working for your organization and you guys have a national template by clicking on that you can import all the settings include all the stamps tags issues like everything that you create like a clash detection settings and everything that you have is going to be important from another project or your template to this one and also you can enable any of this integration that you want so you can have a specific um like basically the, these platforms can talk to each other for sure you're going to do acc if you have something on box if you have some documents on procore you can do all of that and simply you can create and your project is done and when you basically create this project you'll be able to um, import as we talked about a project if it's going to be a settings you can bring a settings and everything that you have on your project here and this is going to be as simple as easy but i'm pretty sure your own company have its own um, template so when you create the project you can go grab the template import everything here so you're not uh, reinventing the wheel on every single project creation Hope that you guys enjoyed this short video. If you like the content, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.